Welcome back to Crypto AI Profit. Today I wanted to go over the next evolution of non-fungible tokens, which are INFTs or intelligent NFTs. And in this way, you can link your NFTs to an AI pod on Aletheia.ai to create a unique, intelligent, and interactive version of your digital asset that has its own virtual economy and generative outputs. And here's how it works. What's happening here is that Aletheia AI is bringing intelligence to NFTs to create these intelligent NFTs or INFTs. An example of how this could be used would be to imagine passing a unique digital persona that captures the essence of your great-grandfather to your son as their inheritance, or for instance, you could have the Mona Lisa that could actually talk back to you. But Aletheia AI is embedding artificial intelligence into NFTs to fully realize the promise of programmable intelligence scarcity. And you can see the evolution here going from static images to now GIFs and videos for NFTs. And now I believe that the next step is intelligent characters. And it actually makes perfect sense because on a long enough timeline, what isn't going to be intelligent? So these NFTs, I believe, are soon going to be embedded with interactive generative capabilities and they'll be capable of reasoning and possibly even human level intelligence in the coming decades. So this is likely the new standard of making art interactive as an INFT is embedded with a prompt, for instance, GPT-3, as part of its immutable smart contract. And the NFT is not only perceivably intelligent, but also has interactive and animation capabilities as carefully crafted prompts that are stored on the smart contract layer. Then the hard-coded prompts call upon the state-of-the-art transformer language model to facilitate generative language only possible through recent breakthroughs in few-shot and single-shot learning. So with Aletheia's protocol, prompt engineers and designers are able to embed intelligent prompt design and language into any NFT. And the super cool part of all of this is that any existing NFT can be turned into an INFT, which is scalable, generative, interactive, and has access to networked intelligence through Aletheia AI's protocol. So an example of this would be, for instance, a crypto punk that would be able to talk to you and rap against another crypto punk in a battle watched by millions. Or you could have a hash mask that listens to your jokes and inspires you with its origin story or your Decentraland parcel could be able to remind you to cultivate the land after you've purchased it. So in the end, any ERC721 or ERC1155 token can be turned into an INFT by linking it to an AI pod using Aletheia AI's protocol. And once the existing NFT is linked with the AI pod, it becomes an INFT on any application built on top of Aletheia AI's protocol, such as the Aletheia AI platform. And furthermore, outside of the applications built on top of the Aletheia AI protocol, the NFT remains unchanged. But let's check out exactly what this can do, as I had the pleasure to interview a GPT-3-powered Darth Vader bot earlier today. Okay, looks like Darth Vader has joined the chat, and I will use a name that he may recognize, and let's hear his thoughts. Hello, Luke. I have been waiting for you. Thanks for making time for this interview. Sorry about that. I got jammed up in traffic. Anyways, I'd like to ask you... What is the difference between the light side and the dark side? The light side of the Force is about compassion, understanding, and generosity. The dark side of the Force is about fear, anger, and hatred. And for our viewers who may be deciding whether to join the light side or the dark side, which compelling argument would you give them for joining the light side and which for the dark side? The dark side is a much more powerful and provides benefits that the light does not. It will provide power, comfort, and happiness. And for the light side, if people want to love others, would you recommend for them to join that one? I would highly recommend to join the light side, as it will provide a greater sense of caring and protection. So it sounds like the media may have completely misunderstood you, because... Typically, you're associated with the dark side. Would you say that that's just a persona that you play for movies, but you're actually a light side kind of a guy? The answer that you seek will cause a disturbance in the Force. Is the Force of love or hate?
The Force is a power that we can't fully comprehend. I'm not sure if it's just love, but it certainly isn't hate. Anyways, like and subscribe, share this video, check out Alethea.ai, and thanks for watching.